Hey everybody, I'm coming making this video message to tell you let them keep hoping and wishing. I know you all are curious to figure out what I'm referring to. What I am referring to is people hoping and wishing that you would be bitter, angry, confused, and upset about the fact you don't have a man or woman in your life. Now, what the world is doing when it comes to the single community, so many people are speaking out about the single community or they are speaking against the single community. There are married men and women who speak on single men and women. There are men who speak against single women. There are some women who speak against single women. And this topic is very large, but what is irritating to me is that so many people have become overly vocal about the fact um, that some single people are just dying to have a mate in their life, whether it's a spouse or whether there is a companion that is placed in their life. And what I find is that there are certain sing uh I'm sorry, there are certain seasons of my life where there will there will just be random people that will approach me and they will feel the need to tell me that they want to connect me to someone that they know or they want to hook me up with a co-worker they want to hook me up with one of their male cousins or one of their brothers or one of their guy neighbors or guy friends that they feel I would hit it off with or connect with. And I find it to be very annoying. I find it to be extremely irritating because there's an assumption that single people are not happy being single. I need you all to understand who are single. If you have been single for a considerable amount of time, I am here to tell you that you need to continue to stay strong and secure in that position. Because if you are not strong and secure in that position, outsiders coming to you and confronting you or even suggesting and offering you a man, ladies, or a woman, men, it will shake you. It will shake you. It will disrupt you and what you've been doing for however long you've been single. And some of you all, if you are weak, you would allow these aggressive people that come to you trying to marry you off or trying to hook you up with a friend or a sibling or a coworker or a neighbor you will allow that to shake you up and you will start to feel shame or guilt if you are a weaker type of person and you will jump the gun and just take any man or any woman that comes to you, fellas and ladies. This is what I need you all to know. This is what I need you all to know. First of all, for kingdom people, people that are in the kingdom, people that are followers of Christ, the Bible talks about the position single men and women should be in. Our affairs and our priority should be for God. Above anybody and anything, our first priority and our concentration and focus should be on God and the things of God. We should not be caught up with what the world is doing. And so I'm just stopping in to make this video message because I find it very annoying. And I'm highly irritated by the fact that I could be talking about the sky being green. I could be talking about a puppy that I saw flying down the street with wings. And somebody will just randomly come and start talking about a man that they want to hook me up with. And it's not just me. I see other men. 
I see other women go through the same thing where someone is trying to marry them off or someone is trying to hook them up with someone because they assume that because you are single that you are just sitting back in the cut waiting for a man to come in your life ladies or you're waiting for a woman to come into your life fellas there are more married people not all married people, but there are a large majority of married people who seem to be obsessed and overly concerned about who single men and women have in their life. And it's crazy to me. People will brag about how they are happy in their relationship. They will brag about how they are happy in their marriage. And they will, you know, shame and talk about single men and women. And it's like they don't look at the benefits of what it is being single. When you are married, just for those who don't know, let me just go down a few things, okay? When you are married, you are accountable for your husband. When you are married, you are accountable for your wife. But guess what? When you are single, you are only accountable for yourself, and if you have children that are still at home with you, you are accountable and responsible for your children. But there are a lot of people who are single and their children are gone. Their children are out the house. Their children live with family members. Their children are doing their own thing as they grow and get up in age. Some single moms, one child is with the father, the other child is with the mom and vice versa. And so if you are a single man or woman, you are living life on your own terms. And when people hear you say that, some people, they have a negative mind. This is why I don't like talking to and hanging around a lot of people. Because people don't think. They don't think. They think they have all the answers. They think when they see one thing that that's what it is. They don't know how to dig deeper down the rabbit hole where they'll discover so many other things going on with that particular single man or woman. People don't understand that. And people have a problem and an issue with a single man or woman's confidence. It seems like that is an irritation to a lot of people when they come across a single man or woman and they are confident in it. And I find the people that are always trying to marry you off as a single woman or they're always trying to marry you off as a single man, a lot of these people, they are not secure being single themselves or before they got married or before they got a boyfriend or a girlfriend. They were not secure being a single man or woman and just standing alone. They were not. And most of the people who come to me and they are trying to hook me up with their brother or their uh, male neighbor or their uh, guy best friend, some something like that. They it's, it's women who have a guy that is their best friend and they come to me saying that they want to hook me up with him. My thing is with that. Um, I really don't want to hurt certain people's feelings, but my thing is I'm looking at the track record and a dating record of a particular man or woman that is trying to hook me up. Because, see, a lot of these people, the audacity and the gall of some of these people who come to make a suggestion to me about dating or I see them do it to other single men and women, they don't even have a man their self. Some of the women that come to me, with these suggestions, they're single. They don't even have a man their self. Some of the men that come to me with these suggestions, they don't even have a woman. Some of these men and women that come to me making these suggestions, talking about my single life or the single life of other men and women, they have never been married. But they're concerned about me dating or who I have on my arm or I see them go to other people and it's getting out of hand. If I have to be the only one or the first one that continues to bring this topic to the forefront, then that's what I'm going to do. And I could care less about how people feel about it. The masses have to stop trying to marry single people off. The masses have to stop making the single life of someone be an issue. You cannot make an assumption about single men and women who you don't know. You're not talking to them. You are not hanging around them. You really don't know what's going on in their life. You don't know what they have to battle. 
in every aspect of their life on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is a news flash for a lot of you all. It is not a priority to have a relationship. As God is my judge, I don't go to bed at night, no offense, because if any of you ladies do this, I don't have anything to say about that. What you go to God about and what you pray about is between you and God. That is your business. But as for me, I don't go to bed at night praying to God about a, a kingdom spouse. I am at a point and place in my life where I truly believe that whatever God has for me, he's going to give it to me. If God sees fit for me to be remarried, then God is going to put a man in my pathway. God is going to start dealing with me about a man. He's going to talk to me. Maybe he'll show me a vision. Maybe he'll show me a dream. But that is not something that is occurring in my life. Okay? And you all cannot assume that when you see other single men and women that that is what is occurring in their life. And I am tired of hearing people say, Oh, you know, nobody is single by choice. How are you telling single men and women that they are not single by choice? Maybe that is not every single, single man or woman story. But if I get asked out by a guy and I agree to go out with him and we've gone out for a few times. If he says to me, well, Kiki, we've gone out a few times. I've known you long enough. I've talked to you enough. I'm feeling you. I'm ready to be exclusive. I'm ready for you to be my lady. I want to take you off the market. If I tell that man, I don't want to be your lady. I'm not ready to be taken off the market. I don't want to be in a relationship. How can you or anybody else out here in the masses say that I'm not single by choice? I just made a choice. I just made a choice to turn down a man who wants to be exclusive with me. And if a man does it to me, he made a choice to be single. Every time I hear somebody say nobody is single by choice, I want to wrap my hand around their rusty, crusty neck and squeeze it. You all have got to stop doing this. People are secure with their singleness. A lot of people are. And people are tired of the BS. People are overly vocal about the lives of single men and women but they are not looking at the benefits of a single man or woman. What you all have to understand is the BS that comes with you dating and the hardships and troubles that come in marriage. People need to know the truth about those two things before they jump the gun and get married or get into a relationship. You cannot live your life and do what you want to do once you get married. You cannot talk to your spouse a certain way you have to explain yourself when they ask you a question. You can't just jump up and leave out the house and hang out with your friends and do what you want to do because you have to consider the feelings of your spouse. If you are a woman and you are under God, I don't want to talk about how women in the world treat their spouse because they're never going to agree with me. But Christian women, I'm talking to you now. If you are a saved Christian woman, you are supposed to be submissive to your husband. So if your husband questions you about something, I don't care how major or minor it is, you should be in a position to answer his question. Even if it's about something with the finances, with the children, sex, or if it comes to how you are slacking on your wifely duties within the household. Now, a lot of women, you're not going to agree with that. You're going to feel like, hey, if my husband comes to me and he complains about the finances because I've been dipping into our, our joint savings account, I'm going to tell him most of the money that's in the account is my money. The man may do it. He might say the majority of the money because he makes more than you. If that's your situation, he may say you don't have anything to say to him because that's his money. Couples argue about this all the time. And so you all need to understand, stop approaching single people and um, questioning us or trying to always hook us up with somebody. I can honestly say that now I understand the hurt and pain and irritation that people who are married with no children feel. And I understand how women with no children feel. I can honestly say, excuse me, I know how you all feel. Because if you all pay attention, a lot of women who 
don't have children, okay? And a lot of married couples who have been married for a few years or longer and they don't have children, there are people, which is very rude and ignorant and an invasion of privacy, they keep questioning childless couples or childless single men and women about why they don't have children. Again, they don't know how to think and go deeper down the rabbit hole. You don't have all the answers. You don't know every nook and cranny of somebody's life. You don't know if a married couple is struggling because the husband's sperm count is low. You don't know if the woman is having issues within her female parts. She could have had a hysterectomy and never told anybody. She could have fibroid tumors. She could have cervical cancer. She could have indeed been married several times, but every time she got pregnant a few weeks later, she miscarried. You've got to think. You all have got to think. But I feel like it's very rude and ignorant how people are always making an assumption that single people are bitter or we're, we're angry or we feel like we don't have a place in society because uh, as a single woman, a man is not on our arm or as a single man, a woman is not on your arm. You all have got to stop with this. When you are single, you find out a lot about yourself that you probably would not recognize if you are married or if you are in an exclusive relationship. Because you're so caught up with the other person, you're not looking at yourself. As a single person, again, you are not under judgment all the time. Like you would be in a relationship or in a marriage. There's no way that you can be married, ladies, and lay around for three or four days without cleaning up, without cooking, and you look a mess, and your man is not going to come, your husband, I should say, is not going to come and... um confront you about why his house is not clean or why you and the kids keep eating him and the kids I'm sorry keep eating takeout food you guys got to pay attention to that and as a married woman you need to give your husband an explanation as to why the house is not clean and why you have not been cooking if there's nothing physically wrong with you or mentally wrong if your husband is questioning you about that out of respect and submission you need to get on top of your wifely house duties. But as a single woman, you don't have to worry about that. You can leave your house looking the way you want it to look. That's your business. Because again, you are accountable to yourself. You're accountable to God. But if you slack here and there in your house, that's on you. The judgment is not there. When you want to go out as a single woman or as a single man, nobody is questioning you. You don't have to explain yourself. You can stay out for two, three, four, five days, one, two weeks, three months, four months, and nobody's ever going to question you. That's real talk. But you try to pull that stunt when you marry, it's going to go a little bit different. You might be divorced or you might come back home after a couple of weeks and the house is empty. <laughs> real talk. I'm just telling you all this. This stuff needs to be talked about because people are always talking about and coming at single people. They never let you live it down, you being a single man or woman. It's just not the priority because guess what? A lot of single people, we don't have to deal with the drama that a lot of married couples have to deal with or couples who are exclusive. A lot of single people. Now, single people, if they are sexually active and messing around with some people, some of them do have drama in their life. But I'm talking about the saved men and women of God who are under God and you are trying to live right as a single man or woman. We don't have to worry about STDs. We don't have to worry about unwanted pregnancies. We do not have to worry about drama in our life. We don't have to worry about waking up. And looking to see if our car windows are busted out or our tires are slashed because we have some baby mama or baby daddy drama. We don't have to worry about looking in our phone and there's paragraphs and paragraphs of text messages, ladies, from a woman you don't know. Because that man that you're dating, his baby mother or his ex-girlfriend found out that you're talking to him. People that are in relationships, this is what they go through.
Some couples who cheat on each other and there's a heavy spirit of infidelity, they have to deal with this. As a single man or woman, again, you don't have to answer to anybody. So I just wanted to make this video message to encourage the singles and let you all know, stand strong in your singleness. Because if you are not strong being single, if you are not strong and confident in your singleness, outside voices can shake up your confidence and they can put fear in you if you allow it and you will jump the gun and try to hurry up and force a relationship or get a relationship based off what outside people are saying to you when you are single you need to be using your time and your season of singleness to concentrate and focus on God I'm not knocking anybody that has a kingdom spouse on the way. If God have told you and promised you a husband or a wife, if he has been dealing with you about getting married or getting a husband or a wife, this conversation is not for you. But for some of you all, the enemy knows I tell you all this all the time. If you look down my video catalog, I've mentioned it several times where the enemy knows you are desperate for marriage. He knows you are desperate for a relationship. And he is going to always lie to you and tell you your kingdom spouse is on the way because he knows that's what you want. But in reality, you're hearing that from the enemy. God has not told you that. And let me just jump over and say this. You notice how with a lot of single men and women, outside people will come and they will make suggestions to you and they will tell you, you know what? I got somebody I want to hook you up with. I want you all to go out because you all have a lot in common. You all will hit it off. And all of these people are coming to you, but God has not told you anything. Somebody recently said to me, well, Kiki, maybe this is God's way of telling you that it's time for you to come out of your singleness. Maybe this is God's way of opening a line of communication and setting the stage for a man to come into your life. Um, I'm not going to say that that's not what God is doing, but I'm not going to say that that is what God is doing. Because what you all have to pay attention to is that that sounds great and fine and dandy, but why would God go to all these other people and tell them, or give them an unction in their spirit to come and tell me uh, that it's time for me to come out of my singleness. But God have not told me one thing. God has not told me one thing about me getting a kingdom spouse. He has not told me to prepare or prep for marriage. He has not given me a dream. He has not shown me a vision. I just truly believe in my soul that if that was the season I was in, that God would have been dealing with me on that. I believe that God would deal with you all, men and women, if that was the season you were supposed to be in. God is not going to tell a bunch of other people a bunch of stuff about you, but he's not going to come tell you first. That doesn't make sense. Make it make sense because that makes no sense to me. But I'm telling you all, you better be strong in your singleness. Because like I said, I, I notice it's seasons of my life where there are random people, people that I'm not friends with, people that I am not close to, or if they are a family member or, or whatever, I'm not super close to them like that. But they feel entitled and they feel like they have a license to come and tell me what I should be doing about being single. When in reality, I shouldn't be doing anything but continuing to live my life. I hate that the world makes an assumption that single men or women are upset about the fact that they are single. A lot of single men or women, they are accustomed to that. They like their single life. They like it. They like not having to explain themselves to other people. They like spending money at their own free will and not having to explain themselves. Some single women, they like wearing their hair a certain type of way and not being judged about it. There are some men, they are very particular about how their woman or wife wears their hair. They don't like when their wife gets her hair dyed a certain color. They don't like how you wear certain outfits. If you put on some pounds, they got an issue with that. Okay? 
And don't get me wrong, me saying these things, I'm going to jump ahead of a lot of you all because I know how you all operate. A lot of you all may feel like, oh, she's against being submissive. She just wants to be free and just do what she wants to do. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is that I'm going to fully take advantage of the position I'm in because I am single and I can do that. But after marriage, I know that my life would change. Don't get this twisted. I am not a modern woman. I am a very traditional woman and I am in total agreement with submission because that is what the word, the word of God says. And so all I'm saying is that I understand and I know because I've been married before, I wasn't great at marriage, but now with everything I took from that marriage and the failure of that marriage and who I am now, I am totally in sync with being submissive. I'm not going to disrespect my husband. I'm not going to backtalk my husband. If my husband asks me to explain myself or he asks me a question, I'm going to give him an answer respectfully. And I'm telling all the single men and women, you need to prepare yourself for that because there's going to come a time where you do have to answer to a spouse. You don't have the right to go back and forth with them. You have to maintain a certain level of respect. You cannot talk to your husband any type of way again. Uh, you cannot talk to your wife any type of way. You cannot treat them any way you want because God is going to hold you accountable. And if you feel like you wouldn't be a great wife or a great husband, you need to be going to God so God can teach you, train you, lead you, and guide you and show you how to be a husband or a wife. Okay? That's what I want to let you all know. I'm going to go live about this again. Some stuff happened with my other live video from tonight. It it it, it just got all broken up and torn up, whatever. Um, um, the enemy was at work with that, but I'm going to go live again. But I'm releasing this video message to help you all and tell you all to stay in a fight if you are single. And if God has promised you a kingdom spouse, you better make sure that your heart and your motive and your agenda is right for why you do want a kingdom spouse and why you do want marriage. That is the video message. <laughs> well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord willing, I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have been offended, by anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.